A long time ago, during Forgotten Island's beginning, Sensei Iguana trained some of the first masters of combat. And one of those masters was the great Master Tai. But before he was a master, Tai trained hard and was completely focused on becoming one of the greatest combat masters. And once his time came, he became a teacher teaching his skills to other students who would soon become future masters themselves. One of his students, named Tom, came to him and talked to him about something interesting. He said he gathered old machines humans had and he believed they could hold secrets. Secrets that no one has ever thought of looking into. And while Tom looked through every last bit of machinery he had, he opened a door to another world. He called it the Digiverse. A world where all technology power comes from. And not only is it powerful, Tom learned he could use the energy of the Digiverse to create weapons. Weapons that are unlike anything from the real world. Soon he became obsessed with making these weapons and obsessed with anything related to the Digiverse. Master Tai noticed this and he feared that his friend and student Tom was becoming someone else. Something else. He tried to convince him to give up the Digiverse and just return to him in his normal life. But Tom was upset at this and attacked his own teacher. Sensei Iguana saw that Tombstone was becoming too dark and too evil, so he banished him, and that only made Tom even more furious. Not just at the masters who rejected his ideal, but at his own teacher who tried to help. Soon Tom made his own weapons. He went around different villages, destroying them with his new weapons he calls the Chains of Code. All the other masters tried to fight back against Tombstone, but they were no match for his new weapons. How could they fight back against something they don't understand? So it was up to Master Tai. He went to Tom's old house, looked at all of his research on the Digiverse, and with that knowledge, he created a weapon of his own. A weapon that could destroy the chains of code, and he calls it the Digital Blade. Master Tai arrived just in time to face off against Tombstone, his former student. These two fought in an epic battle, Master versus Student. The battle went on for what seemed to be a long time, until Master Tai got Tombstone down on his knees. And once he was down, he grabbed the chain and cut it with a sword. And when he did that, the mass burst of energy came from the chains and caused a big white explosion. And when the dust cleared, the only thing that remained was the digital blade. No sign of Tombstone or Master Tai. All the other masters honored Master Tai's sacrifice and hid the digital blade somewhere no one knew of. But what they didn't know was that explosion teleported both Tombstone and Master Tai into the Digiverse, trapping them there forever. But looks like Tombstone might have found a way to escape. What a lovely day. <sighs> now what? <laughs> Tombstone. <laughs> Master Tai, finally I will get my revenge on you for banishing me to this place. I locked you away here in the Digiverse for a good reason, Tombstone. And you should know there is no escape. Oh, but that's where you're wrong. 
Because I found a way to escape. What? Impossible. And all I need is your power. Huah! Humans create technology, but yet they never knew its true potential. But I unlocked it. And now you will find out. Soon I'll have your power and escape this place. I locked you here to keep you away from the real world, so you wouldn't put anyone at risk and danger. Soon I will take the power of every other master you've trained. I will not let that happen! Oh, too bad. No! Oh no! I'll make you regret ever locking me here! Grown stronger the last time we fought. No. At long last, I finally have you at my mercy. And now I can drain your energy and finally escape the Digiverse. Apparently, you haven't heard, my friend. The Chosen One has finally come forth. He might have defeated Dark Claw, but he's no match for me. Then I guess we'll find out soon. Once I find this chosen one, I will catch him and take his energy. And now, I can finally escape this prison! <laughs> Those fools won't be able to get to me. Finally stole all that treasure. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, I think I lost him. Oh boy. Uh oh. I'm going. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, not again. Hello. Ah, how do you guys find me? Oh, it's not really that hard. No. All I wanted was to get away with the- Aw, oh, cheese turds. Uh, hi there. Hey, put me down. I ain't gonna put you down, Ralph. You stole lots of ancient artifacts, you weasel. I'm not a weasel, I'm a rat. Yeah, well, this rat's going in the slammer. Okay, please, put me down. Put me down! Nice work, guys. Yeah, we did pretty good. Hopefully, Ralph will learn his lesson next time. Yeah, if he tries to steal something, we're gonna be after him. Yeah, darn right. Well done, warriors. You have captured that thief. Oh, Ralph was no problem. We handled him easily. He is a really weak villain. Why do we even deal with him? Well, that aside, our artifacts have now been returned. And thanks to all of my brave students, including you, Chosen One. Oh, please, just call me by my real name. Guys, how about you give me a Master Gold a minute? Okay. Good luck, man. I'm so proud of everything you've been accomplishing so far, Janner. Yeah, and it's been like two years since I beat Darkclaw. It's been much peaceful since his defeat, but I fear that a new evil might be coming. Huh, it has been pretty bland around here, so bring it on.
Ah, looks like winter has finally come to an end. Yeah, I know this. Look around you, Janner. Everything you see here in this temple is a memory from each warrior and master that has ever trained here. Not only do they represent their success, they also represent their legacies. And I want everyone to remember your great legacy. I'm sure everyone will remember what we've talked about. Have a good day, Janet. Uh, thank you. I don't know. I think Master Gold is right. Oh yeah? What makes you think that? I've been feeling something going on in another dimension. But I can't figure out what it is. I'm sure it's nothing, buddy. Anyways, I'm off to have a date. <sighs> I know that Janice the Chosen One, not me, but... Still wish I could have gotten a little bit of glory. I mean, I did fight Darklaw. I just wish I could have a moment for once. Hopefully my time will come soon! <laughs> Ah, uh, what a day, am I right? Yeah. Ever since I've beaten Darklaw, things have been kind of bland around here. True, but there's not really much you can do about it. That's true, but I just want another challenge. Maybe a new enemy to face, or something like that. You understand, don't you? I guess. Whoever this next contender will be, you'll be sorry he met me. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Man, I hate working out here. Well, maybe if you hadn't got caught by those warriors, we wouldn't be out here. We were humiliated years ago, man. Smell anything out there? What the? Yeah. Hey, whoa, partner. Get out of here. Whoa. Why I? Wait a second. What is that? I don't know. Where am I? Um, the open fields? Yes! I finally returned to the real realm. Who are you? I am Tombstone. Tomb what now? Tombstone. You know, king of the Digiverse. Master of Technology? Uh, not ringing a bell. Perhaps you two could be useful to me. What the? What are you doing to me? What are you? Oh? Hey! This isn't a bad look! What's it gonna do to me? Ooh, this feels nice. I like it. If you two want to stay this way, you will serve your allegiance to me. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all hail Tombstone. Excellent. And as for you, Chosen One, I'll take your power. 